Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH and I am back for, believe it or not, another hardware review. And yeah, um, I've got a couple of these coming up here. Um, and we are actually looking at, believe it or not, yes, another pair of headphones. Um, I've had a couple of pair of headphones that I just haven't bothered to review on the channel, but I figured just A, to mix up the content, and B, I actually have a bit to say about uh, both of these pair of headphones, uh, this one and the one I'm gonna do uh, record after this, because um, they offer really interesting things and they might be good for certain people. What we're looking at here is the Sennheiser Backbeat Sense. Um, these are Bluetooth headphones, they're stereo headphones. And they're actually for the, they're actually really nice. Um, they are on the ear headphones, so they don't cup around your ear. You see on the cup there, um, it they fit on your ear. But I gotta say, they're very very comfortable. Um, they have this sort of memory foam padding on either ear cup, and this one I've kind of got it's like this. Uh, like a dark, almost like a chocolate brown kind of a look to them. So you know, they're they're a, they're a nice looking uh, pair of headphones. Um, so the re I got these probably about a year, year and a half ago. And again, like I said, <laughs> it's really funny that I have so many of these dang pair of headphones accumulating. But the thing is, is like when you do a lot of audio and you listen to things and you record things and you know, you do different things. I, I just, like, sometimes you just really need different types of speakers or headphones for different tasks. And what I was really looking for, because I was doing a lot of work where I was switching between my iPad and my iPhone. So I might be doing something more where I wanted to look visually, so I wanted my iPad. But then I was going to go out on the bus or just go do whatever, and I wanted my iPhone. So... Right, you know, if you've used a Bluetooth headset before, you know that Bluetooth can be kind of a pain in the ass, especially when it comes to pairing with multiple devices. Uh, you got one device that, you know, only supports being paired with one thing at a time, and sometimes you got to go in and reset the settings and reconnect, and it's just kind of a mess. Um, this one advertised, the Backbeat Sense has, has advertised that hey, you can pair this with up to uh, two devices at once and kind of switch between them simultaneously. And for the most part, it I found it actually works pretty well. The way it works is you pair it with your first device. Um, so I'd pair it with my iPhone. And then you pair it with your second device, which I paired with my iPad. Now, also I should mention, when you do pair them, it seems to call everything a phone. So, you know, there's like pre-recorded... Um, voice prompts, which is kind of cool, both for just, you know, information and accessibility. Um, they will say, like, you turn them on and they'll say, you know, you'll hear a tone and then you'll hear, like, phone one connected, phone two connected, or if you lose connection, you wander far enough away from one device. Um, there we go. Um, if you wander away from a device, you know, it'll tell you that it's lost connection, you know, uh, phone to unpaired or whatever it is or unconnected or disconnected whatever and it works pretty well so the way it works is once you get both devices paired um, you turn the headset on and it'll give you those prompts it'll say you know phone one connected phone two connected and basically you just start using one so I could just start using the phone and it would generally pick it up and okay you're doing Bluetooth audio now, to use the other one, to use the other device, you simply stop all audio, like if I was playing a movie or a game or a song or something, I would just stop the audio in there. And then I would start using my iPad, and it would just start, it would you know maybe take a second or two to figure itself out, and then it would go, oh, okay, you're wanting to use this device. And that's the easiest way that I found for it to work. And I would say nine times out of 10, it worked pretty dang well. So the design of these, there's actually a lot of interesting stuff about this particular uh, pair of head 
phones. Let me switch this around. Let me flip these around. Okay, so the right-hand side you got here. You got your button here. You can use that to answer and uh, do your calls and stuff like that. I don't use this button all that much. On the right side, you also have, this is your power button here. So you flick it up. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear anything. Oh, you know what? That's a bad idea. Let's not do that because it'll, it's paired with my phone right now. <laughs> Let me see here. Okay, we're good. Um, so you just all you do is you flick it up, and it'll turn on. If you want to pair a device to put this thing into pairing mode, all you do is you, when you flick it up, you'll feel it kind of has a little give to it. So you kind of just hold it up a little bit farther, and you'll hear like another noise, and it will go into pairing mode, and then that's it. You just pair it and you're good to go. Um, you've got that. And then on the bottom side of the right ear cup, you have a three and a half inch headphone jack. So yes, these things can also be used as a wired headset, which is actually really nice. They are not noise canceling, but what I will say is that the way, the way these cushy ear pads sit on your ear and they just kind of go they just kind of squish right into your ear and like i said they're really comfortable they're light and they're really comfortable um when i'm gonna you know especially the summertime is a great indicator of this like i'll be on the city bus city buses are loud the buses themselves are loud there's people on there you got the air conditioning running and that thing is loud as hell um yes you still hear all of it but it's sig significantly uh, muffled and so these actually work quite well um, on the top here you've got again the same type of cushy um, material in this pleathery leather cloth stuff um, and it's a separate little band underneath the little metal headband up here so it it's a lightweight headset overall. It's actually, from the way it looks, like, you know, it looks fairly substantial, but it's actually quite light. Again, it's very light on the head. It's very comfortable. It doesn't squish your head too much, but it's in there just enough. On the left ear cup, you've got your play pause button, and then you've got your track forward and back buttons on either side. Now the volume, is actually this whole round part. You see this little nubbin up here, this little nub? That's kind of, you can kind of grab that and go, kind of pull it forward to go up, pull it forward to go back down. So that's kind of your volume, kind of a rocker switch there. And then here's another cool bit of technology that I kind of wish more devices would adopt because it's actually really handy. So you're listening to something. You're at work or you're, you know, people, somebody walks up to you. Um, you pause your track as you're going to cross the street or whatever. Um, I pause it and then, or you don't even have to really pause it. But if I hit this red button down here, that is a microphone button. So what it'll do is if you're playing anything, it will, it'll pause whatever you're listening to on your device that you're connected to. But it'll also enable the mic to go through your headset in kind of like a little amplified mode. So you're hearing more of what's around you. So you don't even really have to take your earphones or your headphones off. Um, and you can hear it kind of amplifies quite loudly, actually, quite clearly um, what is around you. And I found that to be a very convenient feature when I'm using other headsets, I kind of miss it in some ways. I kind of do. I, I wish that more, I wish that this would kind of become a standard because it's kind of handy, I have to admit. I like that. Now, the other thing that makes this thing really techy, so you can pair it with two devices at once. You can, let me just double let me get my thing so it doesn't go to sleep here. Uh, you can pair it with two devices. You've got that kind of microphone feature, that microphone mute feature thing. That's cool. Now the other thing that these do is it actually has sensors inside of the headset where it will 
detect whether it's on your head or not. So like, you know, if you do want to take them off or you do need to take them off or whatever, um, you could be playing a song, you lift them up, you take your headphones off and the music stops. You put them back on your head, boom, your music starts up again. A neat idea in, in, um, in theory and it, it's kind of cool, but I actually found myself disabling the feature after a while just because sometimes it was a little bit too sensitive and it would it would account for like if I kind of fidgeted a little bit with it and I adjusted it, you know, I kind of, you know, picked it up off one ear or something a little bit and then I repositioned it or something. It would it would cut out and then I would have to, you know, hit the pause button or whatever. It, it's it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's actually like I said, it's kind of cool technology. But it, I would say that's not super necessary. Um, it, uh, you know, I'll leave it up to you whether you think that would be really convenient or, you know, maybe not as much. It's a neat feature. Um, I Sometimes I like it, but sometimes I think it's, uh, like, a little bit too sensitive. And like I said, you fidget with it and it kind of, eh, whatever. Those are the key features of this headset. Tech-wise, it's really cool. It's got a lot of features in it. I mean, that's where you get the sense part of it, where it's like sensing your head or not. Um, it's very lightweight. It's very comfortable. I love the microphone feature. Um, the mute and then have the microphone go through your headset. I love that feature. It's pretty well built. I mean, it's not like really cheap, chintzy connections. I can kind of, you know, wiggle it around a little bit and it doesn't creak or do anything like that. It, it seems it's plastic, but you know you get the metal headband here, but then you get the plastic part here that just seems to slide. Um, I mean, it's obviously adjustable here, but yeah, I mean, it works. It seems to be sturdy. I've had it and used it a heck of a lot over the last year. Here's the one thing that personally I, I don't like as much. Sadly, for being a more expensive headset, the, you can you can find this thing from anywhere between like 150, 160 bucks, all the way up to like 200 bucks. It's an expensive headset. There because there's a lot of technology in it, in the multiple pairing, the mic, the sensors, all that shenanigans. Um, you know, but the the audio quality, to me anyway, for that for the price of the headset, I. It's it's clear, it's good, but it to me it seems a little flat. And having tried so dang many headphones over the past couple of years, what I found is that I tend to prefer, you know, I don't want everything too exaggerated necessarily, but I, I like something with a good low end. You know, it may not be the most accurate representation of what I'm listening to, but I like to be kicked in the teeth a little bit with my audio, you know? Um, you know, not just, I mean, it's not that I listen to a lot of rap or techno or things like that, but, you know, even a good rock song, you know, I listen to a lot of uh, rock and metal and classic rock and whatever. And I just, I like hearing a good kick drum. I like hearing a good bass underneath everything. I still want to hear the highs and mids. I still want to hear all that. Um, but I want a little bit of a... I want a little bit of a punch. And these things really don't have it. I mean, they said if you're looking for a flatter, maybe a more accurate sound, I mean, it, it, it is good. I will say it is good. But not, not as deep a sound as I was hoping for for the price. Um, you got good mids and highs. You get okay lows but I think the low the lows are actually pretty weak and I showed it to a friend of mine who does audio mixing he's a big audiophile nerd guy and uh, he you know he even he thought they were like, especially for the price they were, they were a bit weak and the other thing that I kind of found and I haven't quite figured it out it kind of seems to me like the right ear I th uh, yeah I think it's the right ear and I don't know if it's just the way the drivers are but like it's like the right ear maybe has a little bit more sound to it. Like sometimes I think that I notice like the left ear doesn't maybe have quite a, like 
you can subtly tell that it, it maybe it's not quite balanced or that it did the, the left ear kind of sounds a little weaker um i i don't know but it, it's if you listen if you listen to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts and things like that these are great they'll work fine but if you want to listen to a lot of music and movies and you want a lot you know you like I said you want some of that kick in your sound i don't necessarily think you're going to get that here um so that's kind of where i went and looked for again a little bit something you know maybe not quite so expensive but um something with some extra kick to the sound and in the next video boy howdy i'll show you <laughs> i'll show you that headset um overall the backbeat sense i generally i really like them there's a lot of tech in them if you want something that can do multiple pairing if you like the mic feature you said you can use it as a wired headphone as well i have no idea where my patch cable ended up but it does come with a patch cable it does come with a little i think it's a little bag or case or something it's, it's nothing too substantial from what i remember um they're a decent headset i i just don't know if i would spend that much for these headphones um it's a tough call um especially if you're looking for something really a little bit more powerful like a little bit more punchy in the audio i think these lack a little bit um they sound good but to me could be a little better so they're decent i like them i'm gonna keep them i still use them especially now that I want to have kind of kind of go through this rotation kind of like depending on what I'm doing you know I gotta ha I always gotta have a Bluetooth headset ready because my phone or you know I don't have a headphone jack on my iPhone so I gotta use Bluetooth headsets a little bit more unless I want to use an adapter oh that is one thing this is this is a knock against this headset if you are a voiceover user and you plan on using a headset, especially Bluetooth headset, with voiceover, I would not recommend these as a headset because <clears throat> it's fine for listening to things, it's fine for listening to movies and music, but anything interactive like a game or <clears throat> especially voiceover where you're kind of explore, doing explore by touch and you are swiping, <laughs> There is quite a bit of lag. There is quite a bit of lag uh, when, when you're using voiceover. It's not quite as bad as it, it in iOS 10 as it was in iOS 9. iOS 9 was really bad. Um, iOS 10 seems to be slightly better, but I still wouldn't call it a great experience, especially like typing on the touch keyboard and everything. If you're a voiceover user, I wouldn't recommend these. You can find other... I would recommend looking at another headset for that. But I forgot... I almost forgot to mention that part of it. But just a cautionary thing, if you are a voiceover user, these, these headphones might not be the ones for you. But there you go. That is my overall thoughts and impressions of the uh, Backbeat Sense headphones. You can get them a lot of different places. I think I got mine on Amazon. <clears throat> and they, they range in price. Like I said, you can get them from like... I think I've seen them from like 150 160 bucks all the way up to like a little bit over $200. Um, I would look more toward, if you really want to get one of these, I would look more toward like the low... You know, like I said, the 160 or so because you can usually find them that way. I think 200 is a little bit high. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH. 79 and until next time I will talk to you guys again later Stop recording video